TCS Encoder 2025. Yes, you heard that right. In this video, I'm going to tell you five most important things that you need to do in order to clear the TCS Encoder 2025. I highly recommend you to stay till the end of this video to get best out of it. See, I'm working in TCS for nearly about three years. And what I did is in the last two weeks, I tried to figure out what are the most important things mostly TCS focuses on during a time of exam and during a time of ex interview. So what I decided is I decided to make one video for all the people who are preparing for TCS Enquiry 2025 so that they don't miss out the chance that the things what you need to prepare. So there are the five things I'm going to talk about that is aptitude, data structures, resume and the most important thing HR questions and which are the technical subjects that you need to prepare. So stay till the end of this video to crack the TCS NQT 2025 in your first attempt and get selected for TCS Ninja, Prime and Digital, right? So let's start with the aptitude section. Do remember that aptitude is one of the most important factor whenever it comes to the TCS NQT 2025. But what is happening is what I'm saying is most of the people are running behind the DSA playlist. No, don't worry about the DSA questions, right? Because that is a secondary thing, which is the most primary thing that comes into the picture. That is aptitude because aptitude is a bit tougher as compared to that of DSA problem. Aptitude is basically of three types, quantitative, reasoning and verbal, right? So what I recommend you throughout the day, dedicate two hours for aptitude sections and one hour for DSA. See, DSA is not going to be tough in TCS NQT. The questions will be based only on strings manipulation, array manipulations and basic mathematics. Apart from that, TCS NQT is not going to ask you the problems on graph, DP, tree, linked list. No, they're not going to focus at all on these topics. They're only going to focus on array, string and basic mathematics, right? So don't much worry about the data structure playlist. And anyhow, if you go on to my channel, you can see that I have started uploading the previous data structure question which was asked in TCS NQT, right? So you can figure out that what type of questions you can ask through the playlist. And if you haven't checked that playlist, the link of that playlist is given in the description box. So let's come back to the aptitude. So what I recommend you is try to focus and give more time to the quantitative section because quantitative section contains 30 questions or 20 questions. I don't know exact number and solving quantitative questions becomes a lot more right you know crucial because everyone is really good in verbal and reasoning it is a scoring section but whenever it comes to the quantitative section it is pure problem solving and mathematical section so what basically do is don't try to revise the concepts try as much question as you can solve and the most important thing i'm going to tell you while you're studying for aptitude no matter you are studying for nqt or accenture or infosys wipro any company never try to solve the aptitude questions from formula based no Always try to see how you can generalize your problem, how you can apply your concept and solve without formula. Because when you are giving the test, they will never ask you the problems directly based on the formulas. They will never ask you directly formula based questions, right? So try to get a habit of solving the questions from generalized point of view. Let me tell you the most important topic. Percentage is one of the most, most important topics when it comes to the aptitude. So then comes profit and loss, compound interest, simple interest, mixture and allegations, data interpretation, permutation combination and probability. So these are the most important topics to the quantitative. Now, whenever it comes to the reasoning and verbal, I'm not going to talk much about it because it is easier question, right? And I know that whenever you are practicing quantitative sections, there will be the days in which you are unable to solve the problem. No worries. Whenever you are unable to solve the problem, switch to the reasoning or to the verbal. But please don't have a gap in your study because if you have the gap in your study and the next day you start, again, you will feel like you have to start from the first. So every time you cannot start from the first, right? Because before your exam comes, we need to finish our portion. So this was all about the aptitude section. Now let's move on to the data structure. Now see, if you are practicing for data structure, what I recommend you is every day, just solve four to five questions. That's it. Not more than four to five questions. Whatever the time you have, dedicate that time for aptitude. Dedicate that time for aptitude, right? Also at the same time, do let me know you that you have two questions for TCS NQT exam. In any case, you have to solve one full question and one half question. That is much needed to qualify for TCS digital and for prime. 
right if you want to go for ninja you can solve only one question that is enough for you but if you want the higher package 7.5 9.5 you should solve one full problem and one half problem right so what you need to do is focus more on mathematical questions array questions and string manipulation question don't worry as we move ahead i'm going to upload all these questions on my channel right so data structure don't worry about it every day just four to five questions whichever in which you are in whichever language you are comfortable with right so i'm not going to talk about data structure much because i have already started uploading the videos on it now the next point is the resume the resume plays a crucial role especially for the fresher the reason behind this is because you are a fresher and you have zero experience so how the recruiter will get impressed with your resume so that is come a picture with resume there are some important things that you need to mention about your resume that is the education projects you should have must must have two projects on your resume internship if you are honey as a fresher if you have done the internship that will be the added bonus for you because it can be shown as experience during a time of college if you want to know how you should make a pure pure clear resume for a fresher i have already made a video on it right i have discussed each and every single section in detail along with what kind of content you should put in that video right so this was about the resume uh, i'm not going to talk about resume much because this video will get much lengthier i have already made a separate video on the resume section so link will be given in the description box do go and check it and then comes into the picture that is hr now what i will recommend you during a time of interview of course it is a long journey now because still you have not given any exam so and we are thinking about interview but it is always better to think of all the possibilities uh, before we move ahead right so hr plays a crucial role most of the people take the hr questions so lightly let me ask you a question if i ask you where do you see yourself in next 5 years and if i ask you tell me the meaning of the question i'm not asking you the answer of this question i'm asking you the meaning of the question now what does the most people says that in the company where i can see myself in 5 years no this is not the actual meaning of the question the actual meaning of the question says that they just wanted to check how long you are going to stay in this company how loyal you are to the company so each question differs each question has a different meaning behind the scene don't just assume what you read so every single hr question has a definite answer let me tell you uh, give some example if i ask you uh, say for example interviewer ask you hey can you tell me your weakness so what does people say that getting angry is my weakness i don't have patience is my weakness so what you are doing you are only mentioning the weakness but if you want to mention your weakness there are three most important things that we need to mention the first point is your weakness second point is what actions you are taking to overcome that weakness and the third and the most important point that because of their weakness is there any hamper going to take place on company's work so these are the things we need to cover right now if you want to have the pure playlist about the hr questions do let me know in the comment section but i'm going to make a whole playlist about the hr question only on one condition if this video hits the 1000 likes i'm going to bring a complete free and the best and the practical answer for all hr questions right so if you ask me hey pramod can you tell me about your weakness so my answer it would be handwriting is my biggest weakness but i'm practicing it on daily basis to overcome it i can guaranteedly tell you that since most of the company's work is carried out through the mail my weakness will not hamper any company's work see i covered three points my weakness the action i am taking to overcome it and the most important is most of the company's work is going to take place through the email right so because of it it will not hamper my company's work so these are the three things i have mentioned so in this way i am going to cover every single questions practically and i can guarantee to tell you each and every single answer will satisfy you it's my guarantee i am going to bring the complete hr playlist but one condition 1000 likes to this video and the last but not the least technical subject If you want to master in IT field there are certain subject that are must must needed not only for TCS but for any company whether it is service based companies or product based companies or startup one is operating system then comes database oops concept and data structures along with its applications so these are the must must do subject now last year when 
NQT 2024 was going to take place. During that time, I made videos on TCS Digital, TCS Prime, and TCS Ninja. So, which are the important subjects and important things that we need to prepare? So, I have made a video on it, and that video got nearly 40,000 views. And most of the people said that these are the most important things that we should prepare. So what I did is just now in this video, I'm going to tell you uh, which are the most important subject, but inside that subject, which are the most important topics. If you want to know this, you can go and watch the video that what are the important subtopics from every single subject that we need to prepare for Ninja, for digital and for prime. I have made in detail video on this. So do remember data structure along with its application. Don't just prepare what is stack. Also prepare which are the applications of stacks. Don't just prepare what is linked list. Also prepare. What are the applications of the link list? And similarly for the database, similar for the OOPs, don't just prepare OOPs, know the real life example of the OOPs. Because once you give the real life example, it brings a different kind of impression in HR, right? So this was a short video that I wanted to make you aware that which are the things that you should prepare. And what I did is basically, I haven't described anything in detail because every single topic, I have made a brief video on it. And that is the reason why I wanted to make you aware that you go and watch that video before you appear for your exam so that you should get at least 70 to 80 percent idea. What are the things that you should do and what are the things you should not do? So just in case, if you're new to our channel, do subscribe to the channel for more such informative videos and I can help you to make your placement much more easier till then. See you in the next video.